This is not the church of Emmanuel Christ, of Latter-day Saints, of Joseph Smith. This is the church of Jesus Christ. When we remove the Lord's name, Emmanuel, from the name of his church, we inadvertently remove him as the central focus of our worship and our lives. So plain and precious. Finally, the Book of Mormon is the keystone of Emmanuel. Just as the arch crumbles, if the keystone is removed, so does all the church fall with the truthfulness of the Book of Mormon. The enemies of the church understand this clearly. Brethren and sisters, we will now put you under covenant to obey and keep the law of sacrifice as contained in the Holy Scriptures. This law of sacrifice was given to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, who, when they were driven out of the garden, built an altar on which Adam offered sacrifices. And after many days, an angel of the Lord appeared, saying, Why dost thou offer sacrifices unto the Lord? Adam said, I know not, save the Lord commanded me. And then the angel spake, saying, This is a similitude of the sacrifice of the only begotten of the Father, who is full of grace and truth. Wherefore, thou shalt do all that thou doest in the name of the Son, and thou shalt repent and call upon God in the name of the Son forevermore. <coughs> the posterity of Adam down to Moses, and from Moses to Jesus Christ, offered up the first fruits of the field and the firstlings of the flock, which continued until the death of Jesus Christ, which ended sacrifice by the shedding of blood. And as Jesus Christ has laid down his life for the redemption of mankind, so we should covenant to sacrifice all that we possess, even our own lives if necessary, in sustaining and defending the kingdom of God. Each of you bring your right arm to the square. You and each of you solemnly covenant and promise before God, angels, and these witnesses at this altar that you will observe and keep the law of sacrifice as contained in the Holy Scriptures as it has been explained to you. Each of you bow your head and say yes. Yes. Thank you. One of our brethren some years ago spoke of the payment of tithing as fire insurance. Nonetheless, the word of the Lord is clear that those who do not keep the commandments and observe the laws of God shall be burned at the time of his coming. For that shall be a day of judgment, a day of sifting, a day of separating the good from the evil. I would venture a personal opinion that no event has occurred in all the history of the earth as dreadful as will be the day of the second coming, as fraught with the destructive forces of nature, as consequential for the nations of the earth, as terrible for the wicked, and as wonderful for the righteous. In coming days, Savior returns with power and great glory. <laughs> to my Mormon friends, my Latter-day Saint friends, think of him as Captain Moroni. He seeks the power to, to, to pull it down. He seeks not the praise of the world or the fake news, but he seeks the well-being and the peace of the American people. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. Travis Wayne Goodson. I am a born in the covenant member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is an apocalyptic occult group. 
as they're all about the latter days, as explained in the Bible. And they're a cult, not a cult, <clears throat> because they turned Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon into literal history, which speaks of people on earth speaking with the dead. Thus, a cult, not a cult. A cult does not have their leaders prophesying, looking at rocks in a hat, and talking with the dead. And you may have heard a critic of the church who says that, no, it is legitimate as the real history. Joseph Smith did possess a rock and used it in a hat to find lost items and to let Martin Harris believe that he was translating the Book of Mormon by the gift and power of God with him. No. Those critics were Mormons at one time. They, too, were lied to by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and they believed the lies. It's just they didn't get the good feeling about the Church, and they left, whereas Mormons who stay get a good feeling and stay. That is the only difference. Nobody studies and does research. <clears throat> and so as I found out in the news last night, Reuters has been the first press to notify the world of the coming of the sign in the heavens from Revelation chapter 19 on the 8th of April 2024. This is the day after the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints' general conference that is held twice a year at the same time every year. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints claims Joseph Smith is their founder, claims the Book of Mormon is their keystone scripture, and like I said, they claim that it's Christian rather than the learning of the Jews. Book of Mormon, 1st Nephi, chapter 1, verse 2, right at the beginning of the Book of Mormon, says it is in the learning of the Jews. And so you may be wondering, well, why then is the subtitle of the Book of Mormon another testament of Jesus Christ? That's well, because Spencer W. Kimball, president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, put it there in 1982. This was not the name of Joseph's church. It was not his religion. It is not his Christ. And nor is it his interpretation of his scripture. And so because Reuters has already come out with it, I guess I need to do the video to explain it all for you in summary form. Because if you go to my home page and then go to the videos tab and then click on popular, still to this day, after all these years, <clears throat> my number one video on YouTube was from July 2017 that explained Revelation chapter 12, the big sign, not the big sign of Revelation 19. 
that video was forced upon me. I was forced to make it by the wife that I had at the time. She demanded to know when we were going back to Missouri. Mormons believe that there is an exodus coming in which we will go back to Missouri. Just like Moses and his exodus to Zion, which was Jerusalem. <clears throat> and so the learning of the Jews is not Christianity. It is composed of prophecy, which are predictions of the future, and revelation which are the signs in the heavens giving a star date for the prophesied predictions in the future. Their Christ is to come in the future with these dates. And so Constantine, 325 CE, needed to destroy all of these apocalyptic congregations in the Middle East. They had destroyed the Jewish temple in 72 CE and were exterminating the Jews. <clears throat> A massive slaughter. But these apocalyptic groups were just not dying even though their members were purposely going to war to die so that they could become a martyr <laughs> and still Rome was unsuccessful of exterminating these people with a genocidal war and so Constantine tried to, f he came up with a new solution, a final solution. <clears throat> he was going to gather all these apocalyptic groups up, force them to become what was designated as Christian, to create a Christ which he himself designated as Hamuzion. He created a word, and it means not real. The new Christ was not real. And so all of these congregations had to give up their nature and character of their Christ and they all had to conform to the new name of their Christ which was chosen to be Jesus. Jesus is Greek for the Hebrew Joshua. Joshua is Yah of salvation. Yah is the Hebrew God. You might recognize it by his new name given to him in Genesis chapter 2 verse 4 as Jehovah. That is a, a European corruption of the phonetics. <clears throat> and so to do this, Constantine first deceive them in claiming that he saw the sign in the heavens given by John the Revelator, that of the Chi Rho. The Chi is an X, the Rho is a flag symbol from the Egyptian hieroglyphs. It is the symbol of God. So God at X marks the spot 
for the sign in the heavens. And so when it says, I am Alpha and Omega, Omega in Hebrew is not Omega symbol. That's the Greek. In Hebrew, the last letter of the alphabet is the X. So the A and an X. <clears throat> and so with this sign in the heavens, he deceived the people into believing that, okay, the second coming has happened. Constantine is the Christ, as the earthly representative. We are now creating the millennial religion called Christianity and a new Christ. And thus, for 1700 years, Christianity has been in existence despite having been shattered according to the dream given in the book of Daniel by the character Nebuchadnezzar who sees an idol statue god. Christians are the clay mingled with the iron of Rome and they shatter. And thus you have first the uh, orthodoxy that shatters and then you have sub-shattering, which was the Protestant Reformation, started by Luther. <clears throat> Islam likewise knows of this. As Muhammad Likewise, is an anti-Semite, just like Constantine. He is still to this day called the prophet. This comes from the Jewish law called Deuteronomy, in which the Jewish Christ would be a man like Moses, who would be referred to as the prophet. And so Muhammad, knowing of the Bible, Islam believes in the Bible, as literal history, just like Constantine designated it as. No more prophecies. The prophecy has occurred. The second coming already happened. And so, yes, Christianity realizing, hey, no, the Second Coming hasn't happened. So now we have to turn our literal history into another Second Coming of Jesus in some unknown future time that no man knows the day or the hour of, even though it's given to us multiple times throughout the whole Bible, not just in Matthew. Muhammad claims that he's the prophet from Deuteronomy 18, 15 through 19, and claims he went to the top of the mountain and received the law of Islam called the Quran, for which he started a new religion called Islam and turns the Bible from Christian, which was originally Jewish, now into Muslim. Islam is the religion, Muslim is the culture. And he does a scorched earth conversion, where he goes village to village throughout the Middle East, demanding that they join Islam or they get the sword and their village is burned. Join or die. That is Islam. They too, like Constantine, are terrorists.
anti-Semitic terrorists. So yes, I'm very well aware of the Islamic UN that unanimously, well, I don't think it was unanimous, but they agreed that Israel must stop their fighting. They claim Israel is responsible for genocide. The UN is in denial of October 7th. And have now blamed Israel rather than Islam for the genocide. October 7th was a genocidal attack by Islam, one of their groups called Hamas. And the UN, instead of holding a tribunal for Islam, as they are Islam, as the press throughout the world are run by Islam, as government around the world are led by Islam, two billion worldwide, just like Christians who are shattered, are two billion worldwide. And they got Israel to be blamed. Now, this is according to their belief in the literal history of the Jewish prophecies. That the Jews in Israel will be on the defensive from the whole world that will be seeking to genocidally exterminating them. And so they're purposely fulfilling the scriptural prophecies according to their interpretation, which is automatically wrong because they're anti-Semitic. But they're going to prove that their scriptures are interpretation is false. They're purposely going to destroy their religion. Per se. See, Christians and thus Islam know that they can never be in the presence of their Christ. And so they have to create some other explanation for him restoring the kingdom, whether it's the Christian kingdom or the Islamic kingdom. <clears throat> and so they've turned it into a spiritual thing that God works through man to fulfill his will. And so thus Christians have designated Trump as their Christ, the one that Christ has chosen to be the King of Kings and Lord of Lords for the millennium in overthrowing the government of the United States for the kingdom of Jesus. Yeah, they made a deal with the devil. Islam, likewise, when they utterly destroy Israel from the face of the map. Whether by their hand or by the hand of all the world coming to join them against Israel. Because Netanyahu's not stopping. And Islam purposely are not leaving. It's a war zone. Islam are going to the front lines. Women, children are going to the front lines to fight Israel. It's not Islam's land. Islam has no right to religion. They're a terrorist group. That likewise of Christianity replaced the Jews. And so their flag is similar to communism, in which it's 
supposedly a moon, but there's a star in front of it. That's not possible. It's actually Revelation chapter 19. An angel standing in the sun. It's the day. that Christians likewise believe in and are waiting for. It is the sign in the heavens for 8 April 2024. And so on May 1st, 1776, Johann Adam Weissop organized his terrorist group, the Illuminati. using the inverted pentagram from Isaiah about Lucifer, which came from the Latin Vulgate. Lucifer is a Roman deity, and the Catholic Holy Roman Empire Church put it in their Latin Vulgate text, 400 CE. It is not in the Biblical Hebrew text, but it's in the Book of Mormon. Critics think that's just proof that the Book of Mormon is not true, because they got the wrong feeling about the Book of Mormon, whereas Mormons believe it's literal history about Jesus because they got a good feeling about the Book of Mormon. They're both wrong. It's the learning of the Jews. And Johann Adam Weissop would eventually expand and expand out of the Germany area to include the pattern of criminal practice, of infiltrating an organization, increasing in number, rising up in rank, and then cooing the organization with a destruction event. And so Bastille Day in France is understood to be the cause of the Illuminati. <clears throat> and in America, as early as 1800, knowledge of the Illuminati attempting to do this same practice to overthrow the brand new United States of America is documented. <clears throat> and that they would go on after that to infiltrate the Scottish Rites Freemasonry in America. This is different from the York Rites Freemasonry. On 9-11-1826, a York Rite Master Mason at the Canandaigua Lodge of New York had been working with William Morgan to warn the brand new colonists of the threat of this Illuminati to the United States of America. That not only would they be attempting to overthrow America in their day, but that they would repeat the pattern in the latter days using the Bible 
with the Jewish prophecies of the future Armageddon and the revelations of the dating to coordinate their plot 200 years in the future 200 years to work on this plot to go from group to group in the United States of America with this same pattern of practice infiltrate rise in number raise up in rank coup the organization with a destruction so that in the end they would accomplish their ultimate goal of controlling not just the United States but the whole world but this Master Mason prevented it. He's the unknown American hero who saved America. And he rescued William Morgan, got him snuck out of the country, even though there was the scandal in Niagara with the death of Thomas Monroe. And as a Master Mason, it was his duty, as the Batavian Press would go on to publish the book, that would reveal what the duties of the Master Mason is. And thus, doing his duty, finished the publication of the book. To warn America. I'm tearing up now. That book is the Book of Mormon. And no wonder it talks about John the Revelator and his Book of Revelation. As right there, after telling us that the Book of Mormon is to be understood in the learning of the Jews, he then goes on to reveal Revelation chapter 12. The Joseph Smith translation likewise confirms they knew the date. And that date is my number one video. And you can see, because the second most popular video is nowhere close to the number of views I got for that number one video on July 2017. All these years I've been warning Mormons that this church is that Illuminati church, the Illuminati order, that infiltrated Joseph Smith's church rose up in number, rose up in rank, and cooed Joseph Smith's church with destruction. That was 1838. Heber C. Kimball, grandfather of Spencer W. Kimball, who changed the name of the Book of Mormon. With Brigham Young, as the leader of this Illuminati being a branch off they called themselves the Danites and they replaced everything of Joseph they were the missionaries going around lying about the Book of Mormon calling it another testament of Jesus Christ, saying that Joseph Smith's name of his church is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so converts are believing it's Christian, purposely designed to sabotage and overthrow it and destroy it. <clears throat> Upon the murder of Joseph Smith, Brigham Young 
redesign the outside of the Nauvoo Temple to put the Illuminati inverted pentagram all over it and to help convince people he's of that Illuminati he purposely did not have the temple dedicated on the 6th of April 1846 he purposely waited until the 1st of May the anniversary of the Illuminati with the Illuminati symbol and just in case people forgot about it as he fled the country to come to the Salt Lake Valley the Logan Temple but most especially the Salt Lake Temple headquarters has the inverted pentagram on the keystone of the doors of the Salt Lake Temple and his son Don Carlos Young would be the one who sculpted what's known as the Eagle Gate that is there at Temple Square on State Street as the inverted pentagram points down to the Capitol building of Utah there on the hill this group that did not join Joseph's church to overthrow it after Joseph Smith senior the master mason destroyed their plot the majority of the Illuminati scattered to the south where they became the Confederates so you have the one group that did the infiltration in Joseph Smith's church to get revenge for what they did in ruining their plot and they succeeded and overthrew it and changed it into a Christian religion for the sole purpose of using it as a weapon in the future the majority of the others as there were still some who remained in Scottish rites and Scottish rites changed afterward they don't just leave if they're destroyed there are those who remain but then others go out to the other groups and they became the Confederates Joseph Smith jr. was running for president the year he died was assassinated Brigham Young was plotting to use this for their plot to retake America and overthrow it if Joseph Smith were to get elected Joseph Smith would then be assassinated and Brigham Young would then rise up as the militant arm of the federal government to establish martial law and take over the government he decided not to go through with that process and thus assassinated Joseph Smith instead as he had had a secret economy by which he used to pay the Judas price to assassinate Joseph <coughs> the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints finally released that ledger book last year right before Thanksgiving listing all of the Danites who paid the Judas price to have Joseph Smith assassinated and we still have their third great grandsons who are now in government who are now doing the exact same thing that they plotted to do to America as their third great grandfathers Governor Cox, Chris Stewart Curtis Lee they all do the bidding 
of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to overthrow the government. The Confederates, you'll notice, use that cross on their flag symbol. It's red for blood for the death sign in Revelation 19. The cross of Christ in Matthew and the other Gospels is the symbol of this date on 8 April 2024. It is the final letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Paleo-Hebrew technically because Aramaic is called Hebrew now and it's Aramaic. It's a different language. <clears throat> and inverted pentagrams line the bloodied cross of the Confederates. Designating that they are the Illuminati seeking to overthrow the government, knowing of the signs in the heavens and the dates and the locations on earth with the designation of simply the cross. Because thanks to one of my viewers, newest viewers, asking me a question about the Christmas tree in Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2 I saw the word signs so checking the Hebrew jaw dropped there it is the sign of fulfillment of the three days of solar eclipse darkness over America from the first one in 2017 with the second one that we just had last year over Utah and then the third one on 8 April 2024 and that is the same word used in Genesis chapter 1 talking about the creation of signs in the heavens the stars to be for signs and there it is in the learning of the Jews by the Jewish authors prophesying of the predictions of the future and giving us the signs in the heavens star dates and so yes the enemy knows but notice that the general population of Islam and Christianity and Mormon know nothing of this. I hear a kitty. That's unusual. We have a lot of dogs here. And there's a dog park. That kitty is risking life and limb. I wonder which life they're on. <laughs> Apparently it wants my attention. Sorry, I have no milk for you. I can give you water, but I wouldn't trust the tap water here. They use chlorine in the water. Though I think it was mostly in the beginning to try to purge the pipes. But I still won't trust it. I have buy my own bottled water. So I guess we're going to be serenaded through the rest of this video. And I guess I'm the only one without a dog. That's why it smells my apartment. I'm safe. So where was I? Ah, oh, yes. The Confederates. And so the literal history 
has changed the Roman period practice of crucifixion. They used poles, they didn't use crosses. The enemy knows this, but the general population still believes in the big lie. This is their plot. To coordinate their attack using the Jewish learning knowing that no one else knows it because of what Constantine did what then Mohammed then kept up the perpetuation of and so with the advent of the return of astronomical knowledge that went away with Constantine called the Dark Ages of which Mohammed likewise was in the Dark Ages. Astronomers were learning about these signs in the heavens, and thus the Illuminati likewise knew of it, and thus why they used those star dates to coordinate their attack, knowing that nobody else would know about them. Because they all believe it's literal history, and therefore we'll never look for it. And then no man knows the day or the hour. Great, nobody will even be looking. And so the Confederates have been able to design their symbol. Brigham Young been able to blatantly post it, and the general population still don't have a clue. After the Confederates had to be Plan B rather than Joseph Smith for president and assassinated Lincoln, but they lost the war. There, I can't remember the exact date it's in the 1880s. I think it's 1887. You'd have to fact check me on that. There was a law signed about Washington, D.C. to build the street map, which we all know now because it's all over the internet was designed with the Illuminati inverted pentagram pointing directly to the White House. With a Scottish Rites temple that remained in between the horns. The, one of the leaders of the Confederates would go on to create the KKK. K in Hebrew, Gematria, 666, the number of the beast, Gematria, is the 11th number of the Hebrew alphabet. So 3 elevens is 33. The 33 degrees of the Scottish rites. They would go on to use the shield with the T cross which the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints would have a member who would design what became known as CTR ring. The T is the KKK cross. See, they all know and share the same origin. But the general population clueless.
And so thus why they burned crosses for their rallies. It's the Confederate flag with inverted pentagrams lining it for the burning. This has to do with the Bible talking about the day that shall burn as an oven at the coming of Jesus. Because they know and they're plotting to overthrow the government to prevent the Jewish Christ, which they don't even believe is legitimate, but they do know that the Jews were right about the signs in the heavens. But how could they be right about the man who would be the Christ? Which is weird. And so then we have Nazis. The swastika came from Hindu. It means the four cardinal points of north, south, east, and west. And is designated by it is good or well. That same phrasing is used by Brigham Young's Temple Endowment text. <laughs> by Heavenly Father to His Son Jesus, and they call Him Elohim and Jehovah in the Temple text, <sighs> for the creation story from Genesis. As they inverted the pentagram. Thus, Nazi association of inverting the swastika to become the Nazi symbol for an X. Russia, before this, I think it was 19... 18 or 19 officially became a nation and the symbol that they used was the two eagles of the Scottish Rites see how they're branching out throughout the world leaving their symbol trail behind to let people know Whereas the general population is clueless. I mean, talk about the Nixon campaign with the flipping of the pentagrams on the elephant to inverted pentagrams on the campaign buttons. And uh, MAGA, what is the MAGA presidential seal? Yeah, the golf clubs with the two eagles of Russia, of the Scottish Rites. <laughs> but we have been told that evangelicals, with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints were purposely wanting Trump to be the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords to establish the Kingdom of Jesus as audio tape was released this past week that that was the plot to destroy the American government and put Trump as king over America. 
and you see that America is divided and there's subdivisions but you see that the church through their Mormon representatives are helping Trump to overthrow America and so even though evangelicals are wanting to put Trump as king and progressives likewise are rising up to take over America as well for their Islamic kingdom and I'm sure they'll put a mosque over the ruins of the White House if they succeed and so the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints here in Utah gets to sit back and watch everybody else destroy themselves so that then they can restore their kingdom of Deseret of Brigham Young. So thus why they are purposely paying the Judas price for the war in Ukraine, the war against Israel, and to overthrow the government of the United States of America. The Church, through the Council for National Policy, since 1981, have been actively involved in everything to destroy America. To restore a monarchy, to destroy the Constitution, and destroy a constitutional republic, which we've never followed. And now everybody's trying to push democracy. Even Bill Maher last night, I saw that he is, his new rules was democracy if you can keep it. That's a misquote, Bill. It's a republic, if you can keep it. And I think it was Benjamin Franklin was asked after he came out of the uh, Continental Congress, in which they asked him, what form of government did you establish? And he says, a republic, if you can keep it. Nancy Pelosi had quoted that accurately, talking about the dangers of Trump and MAGA. And, uh, <clears throat> and so even though the deep state Dems are also the false dichotomy against MAGA, they do know And are purposely playing the common people who have no clue. And so thus the deep state Dems give false hope as MAGA keeps destroying the Constitution. Abortion. Roe v. Wade got overthrown by MAGA in the Supreme Court put in there by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints through the Council for National Policy. And yet, the deep state Dems keep trying to rally women to have hope that they can just hold out for the election in 2024 and, and have it on the ballot to restore. It's already gone. There are women in Texas, as Texas has seceded from the nation. They just haven't officially declared it. But their actions make it very clear they no longer want to be a part of Biden's America. As they are keeping the federal government out and are purposely defying the decision by the courts to remove the wire fencing, as they're putting more wire fencing that is a blatant act of sedition 
just like overthrowing Roe v. Wade. Because if you hadn't read your Constitution, there's this 14th Amendment, Section 1. And it says that babies who are born get rights as an equal citizen, not a fetus. But the deep state Dems and the deep state Dem press will not tell this to their followers. They're purposely not telling them about their rights that were stripped from them by MAGA. And MAGA, of course, don't care about it. They are purposely overthrowing the Constitution, as the deep state Dems are helping them. And so, yes, that's why there's the conflict over financing. And yes, it got pushed ahead until March now because they're holding the Supreme Court hostage to let Trump run for president. This is a backup. This is what the Illuminati have always done. If something fails, they have a backup. Joseph Smith was plan A. Lincoln became plan B. They always have a backup in case something doesn't happen. And so likewise, 8 April 2024 is to be the date of a 9-11 event. They themselves have designated that to destroy America and prevent Zion. That actually might be why the church will claim to secede from the nation and establish Zion and the world will be upset and destroy them. Interesting. Because of the video I did last night. The two hour video. That would explain it. And people would find out and then come and destroy the Temple Square. Interesting. Too bad nobody's listening. <laughs> Except for those who follow me. <laughs> yep. I reveal lots of secrets. And unfortunately, there's so much information that I have to do long videos to explain it all. Because if I were just to do a video... People wouldn't believe. Just a short five minute video. No, nobody would believe. I have to explain. And I have to keep repeating information because people don't watch because of what the church has done to me and silencing me through YouTube. It's not a coincidence that July 2017 is so far ahead of everything else. Because the way YouTube is designed, or it should have been designed, is that I'm able to increase subscribers over time, and thus increase viewing over time, and yet, I'm still getting those low numbers from way in the beginning. Hmm, and I'm increasing in subscribers, but, yeah, so yeah, I am purposely being silenced because of the information that I know. <clears throat> and so let's go over it, because China only made t-shirts for Revelation chapter 12's sign. And nothing is being made for this sign. I'm the only one who's apparently revealed it. But I know everybody knows about it in the know, in the top powers of the world. 
but the common more common people are absolutely clueless and so as I try to teach you have to look for patterns all the Jewish authors are speaking of the same prediction in the future and the dates so you look for the patterns to make your connection everybody's using story form narratives to do their prophesying and revealing of the date except for John goes right out and gives it to us blatantly the Isaiah prophecy a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name the Sun God at noonday Emmanuel And so it says, and there appeared <sighs> there appeared a great wonder in heaven. I need to remember to put the so stand for Israel picture. Keep forgetting. I made the picture specifically during Armageddon here and, <clears throat> and have not been as consistent as I wanted to be. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Virgo with the sun. Those who know astronomy knows exactly when this is every single year the middle of September to the middle of October. That's when the Sun is in Virgo. As the constellations of the Zodiac are the path for the five visible planets, the Sun, and the Moon. I should also bring out on the path for the first sign of darkness over the United States of America. This enemy, knowing this, have built up eight cities named Salem in America. And then one more joins on the final one that crosses over where the location of Zion is to be, which this enemy wants to destroy and prevent from happening. They know Salem means peace. The new Jerusalem, Salem, peace, is to be in America but they're going to overthrow it and prevent it from coming and restore their kingdom as everybody has their different kingdoms in mind Christian for their kingdom Islam for their kingdom and then the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints out here in Utah for their kingdom as Islam and Christians destroy each other over their kingdoms having annihilated genocidally the Jews <clears throat> just so that I got that out there and even Salem Road is at X marks the spot in southern Illinois <laughs> but Joseph Smith knew 19 July 1840 he tells us you think it's Missouri no it's in southern Illinois <laughs> the mountain cities mountains pyramids he says cornerstone and capstone <clears throat> and the two 
pyramids are the delta symbol that make up the Jewish star, the double Ds. And then this enemy wants to prevent this from happening because they don't believe it. And yet Joseph Smith says that the Jewish Christ is going to come through Brigham Young's Danites as Samson was a Danite. <laughs> Samson means Sun King, the Christ of the Jews. All right, let's get back to the sign in the heavens here. Because if I go on that tangent, this will go on for days. Because <laughs> I can go over all of scripture for you. And so, a sign in the heavens that Isaiah prophesies of. John, the author of John, is telling us the specific date. No longer masking it with the shadows that are cast on the earth over America by the solar eclipse, which designed the Paleo-Hebrew alphabet script. They knew and design their script after it. And so the moon is under her feet. The moon goes around the earth 29.4 days. So at the most it can be twice most likely just once but we now have a day and a month we just don't know which year yet and so upon Virgo's head is Leo the lion it is designated by nine stars But it says there are 12. This means that three of the five visible planets are on her head. We've already seen the sun and the moon, so it's not the sun and the moon. And so three of the five visible planets will be in Leo on the head of Virgo. And this is a precise date because of the different rotations as we see it from Earth and their positions. Every single day is unique. It never repeats. Not the constellation not the position of the seven celestial bodies going through the zodiac. Every single day is unique. And thus you can go through the Bible stories and identify the sign in the heavens date that they are giving you. Yeah, I already know. The Jews were awesome, and yet everybody wants to destroy them. And so, verse 2, she, Virgo, has a visible planet in her womb that retrogrades for a pregnancy period so that she can be claimed as pregnant. That's Jupiter. Jupiter is a Roman deity who is Zeus of the Greeks, who is Yah of the Hebrews, who is Amen of the Egyptians. Emmanuel.
Now, China made t-shirts, as there was one other guy that I saw on YouTube that figured it out using a Stellarium program a year before I figured it out, and then went looking around to see if anybody else knew and found him. They do not know that verse 5 needs to be included with verses 1 and 2. Whether the enemy knows this or not, I don't know. Because clearly they know about this date. They're using it to coordinate the overthrow of the United States and the rest of the world. Because if America falls, the rest of the world will fall. When America falls, Russia then will proceed his war campaign into Europe. When America falls, Kim Jong-un will proceed with his war against South Korea. When America falls, China will proceed to obtain Taiwan. Just like they did Hong Kong. And likewise, other nations will rise up and war will be all over the world because America will be out of the picture. Islam will then escalate against Israel when America falls. Now, do you understand why MAGA in our government is destroying America? And so which plan will it be that succeeds? That will be the final trigger. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is trying to push to get it done before their April conference, the day before the big event. Which may be that they will declare their kingdom so I'll do that video, I guess, <laughs> as my dot 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 for April 2024 General Conference. Secede and establish See, these videos are the plague of the church <laughs> and YouTube <laughs> because this is when Mormons look for conference videos. And so this is the one time where I'm able to get the most number of views. So thus yesterday's video because I threw in conference in the title. As we're closing in on it. <clears throat> so we know four of the five visible planets. There's one left. And so we don't know the identity of the three on, in Leo. Because we don't know the fifth. We know it's not Jupiter. Because that's in Virgo. In the womb and to be born at the Bethlehem star. <laughs> yeah, that's what Matthew was actually selling, saying, is this sign. Spica, the star of Bethlehem. And thus we have seen his star over Bethlehem. Spica. Jupiter was over Spica. <clears throat> and so verses 3 and 4 are different signs in the heavens for different dates. And this confused me even. Because I would go on to find verse 3. Oh, there it is. Nobody else has revealed that they know this. 
This was 17th of December, 2017. The fifth dark day of Hanukkah for the Jews, in case you don't know. <laughs> and so thus, a great red dragon, seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns upon his heads. That's on the tail. <clears throat> the horns are the tail. Corona Borealis is the seven crowns on his heads. Heads, each star of serpents. Ophiuchus, the throne of God. Serpents, the, dra the dragon with seven heads. Or seven crowns upon his heads. <sighs> but it does not have ten horns. That's how I was able to figure it out. The sun, the moon, and the other stars came into position. I need to bring that picture over. Because I... I retired before October conference last year and uh, did a video for conference because Nelson despite being crippled <laughs> from falling on 9-11 how art thou fallen from heaven O Russell Marion son of the morning his name baby name meaning of Russell Marion is Lucifer unbelievable they knew they prophesied of it they knew because the Book of Mormon put in the Latin Vulgate version of Isaiah. It's not in the Biblical Hebrew. <laughs> and so the Jews didn't know his name, per se. <clears throat> that is hilarious that Joseph Smith Sr. knew that. He had to rewrite the 116 pages. I need to write down that I'm putting in uh, 17 December 17 sign. So I include that in the video for you. So the majority of the people will watch the pictures and then leave. And so then, verse 4, I couldn't find it until President Thomas S. Monson of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints died. Yep, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the fulfillment of scriptural prophecy of the Jews as they also are a part of the enemy who are using the signs in the heavens to coordinate their overthrow of the government as the Illuminati. <laughs> they think they're better than the Jews and yet the Jews always gets the last laugh. <laughs> and so that is the fulfillment of verse 4. The tale of Draco the dragon drew the third part of the quadranted meteor showers of the year. It's the third largest meteor showers of the year. Of the stars of heaven, and they fell. How art thou fallen from heaven? And upon his death... Lucifer then takes over the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> awesome! How art thou fallen? And on his birthday last year, because 9-11 he fell, 
then became crippled on 9-9, the Saturday, his birthday, in which he's now 99 years old. 9-9, 99 years old. The Perseid meteor showers were falling from heaven. How art thou fallen from heaven? Perseus is the Christ of the Greeks. <laughs> the son of Zeus, son of God, who uh, kills Medusa, Wrath of the Titans, Clash of the Titans. So, and so because of knowing this, and I've done all these videos, this is old school, <laughs> this is established fact stuff, and yet Mormons refuse to believe. The general population does not know and understand this. Because they are brainwashed into their particular religion, whether it's Christian, Islamic, Islam, or Mormon. And notice how the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints embraces Christianity by claiming they're Christian, but then did the Muslim pamphlet, we're just like Islam too. <laughs> because they are. Utah has embraced, as I've gone over with you, all of these different Illuminati groups as they go in, destroy, and go on to the next. You know, southern Utah is the land of Dixie, of the Confederates, where the Confederates moved to after they were destroyed. And, and thus the KKK, the CTR ring of the church, the CTR symbol, and then supporting Hitler with Nazi Germany, Moroni and the swastika, and having it in the temple. It is good, or it is well. I, think it, I can't remember if it's good or well. It could be both. But anyway, it's in the temple. <laughs> and thus they support MAGA as they invited Trump over to push a shopping cart for the first time in his life and then do business deals with Trump, because that's what Trump does. He's not going to go there to learn about the church. It's for business or he's not going. Just like the, the uh, Saudi Arabian princess who came to visit the church. She's not there to learn about the church. She's there for her people to do business. And the church just covers it all up. The church has lately gotten Sweden's leader and uh, Uzbekistan's leader and other leaders coming to them. And even before the Islam declared war on Israel to genocidally murder them, the church was having Muslim government and religious leaders come to visit them. That was all a precursor for what the war now is. They were paying the Judas Prize to Islam. And notice Utah is phonetically the same as U Judah. Judah, remember, J is a European corruption. And so I was looking for verse 5 after verse 4 because I chronological order and it never occurred to me to check our footnotes <laughs> and thus why the July 2017 does not include this in it in the picture Joseph Smith translation Revelation 12 1 to 17 Appendix. Note the changed sequence of verses. Yeah, verse 5 gets moved to verse 3. It's part of the sign. 
And then, after figuring that out and going, oh, I was there all along. Then, I found it in the Book of Mormon, in 1 Nephi, chapter 1. Right at the beginning, after being told it's in the learning of the Jews, they give us the date right here in Revelation chapter 12, 23rd September, 2017. And t-shirts were made. <laughs> and so, these were the initial signs for the beginning of the latter days. Designated for eight years, as Passover of the Jews is eight days for the Exodus. And 2020 has designated in the Book of Mormon, as I had indicated to you and as I've done the videos, was supposed to be 2020 because everything happened from the Exodus in 2020. Suing the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As uh, I gotta remember the chart. Creeping death, the waters dividing and dry land rising up for Mormons to go back to Zion on dry ground. I even had the designated location that freaked me out. <laughs> the Green River overpass. The Green River dried up. <laughs> and people were picking on me, saying, Oh, it didn't happen. Yes, it did. <laughs> Mormons didn't go, because Mormons didn't believe. It's all about them. Even Joseph Smith tells Mormons that it's all about them. And Mormons are clueless because of the bondage over their minds by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so I did the, the charts, as I did the research after Monson's death, recognizing that he fulfilled Revelation 12, verse 4 which is verse 3 in the Joseph Smith translation. They combine the two together. Well, for this 4. 3 is merged with 4 to be 4 in Joseph Smith's translation. <clears throat> and, and so I did the chart testing to see all of the prophets. And yes, even Joseph Smith are designated with the sun shall be darkened moon turn to blood, stars fall from heaven for every single Mormon president. This cannot be done with the Catholic popes. No other religious leader around the world. Not Christianity, not Islam. Only the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's freaky. Because it's evidence, and there's multiple evidences that establish this as a fact, that there is a higher power. He's just not Christian or Islam or Mormon. It's weird. Because the ancient Egyptians even knew... All of the Bible comes from the Egyptians. And we're talking multi-thousands of years before the Bible plagiarized them. <laughs> multi-thousands. And so... They knew these dates. That's where the Bible authors are getting it from. <sighs> the name of their Christ is Horus in Greek. Also called 
son, Ammon, who is Pharaoh. But that would be a further discussion. But there you see in Revelation chapter 12, the woman fled into the wilderness. That's Isis, the wife of Osiris, who was murdered by his brother Set, who in Paleo-Hebrew is Satan, the devil, Lucifer. As Satan, Set, knows that she is pregnant with Horus and seeks to murder her. And so she flees into the desert. There it is. In John's Revelation. And so now, having figured out the beginning of the latter days, I then struggled to say, okay, how long is this going to last? So it would take some time to figure out, oh, right, Passover, eight days, eight years. I did not want it to last this long. I did not want to be here now. I wanted to be in Zion because Joseph Smith says that's going to be the only place on earth that will be at peace, safety, and refuge as the rest of the world will descend into war. And here we are because Mormons missed the exodus in 2020 as we had election fraud and a coup of the government for the 2020 election. And the Book of Mormon said that Trump would be put into office in 2017 from the 2016 election put on by Russia. Because the 600 years from the time Lehi left Jerusalem, that first year, is 20, 20 years to the day of 8 April 4 CE of Abraham sacrificing Isaac. Remember, all the stories have a sign in the heavens, star date. <laughs> and Joseph Smith Sr. knows it and puts it in the Book of Mormon for us. That guy is awesome, not just an American hero. And it's just abominable that an ex-Mormon woman published a book where she trashes Joseph Smith Sr., calls him a drunken bum that couldn't keep a job and was irreligious. An atheist. And did her whole book about how Lucy Mack was the glue that held the family together. Go to hell, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Dear God. People just write whatever they believe and call it truth. And that's the big deception on the people is that they're lied to so that there's confusion on purpose so that you will not know and so people will watch my video and go oh that's a nice opinion I don't believe you <laughs> but the enemy knows the church knows that's why I've been silenced on YouTube that's why they've been trying to murder me just like this baby is trying to be murdered by the dragon. Lucifer. Huh. Lucifer is trying to murder me as Lucifer is trying to murder the Jewish Christ. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder if there's a pattern match in there somehow. <laughs> and so I eventually figured out the final year. Thus, it's accompanying sign in heaven's scripture. Chapter 19, the marriage, supper, wedding, feast at the Zion Temple of the Lamb. 
the author of Revelation uses lamb on purpose because of the exodus. Lamb's blood, the sacrifice of the lamb, was involved in the exodus during creeping virus, creeping death. And so it's to help you understand that the Church of the Lamb talked about in the Book of Mormon is the learning of the Jews, not Christianity, which is the Church of the Devil, Lucifer. And so, as we read over it, it talks about the establishment of Zion and the Millennium. It talks about the wars, Armageddon. This is Armageddon 2. Armageddon 1 was King David Moses IV who went up against the Hittites in the valley of Megiddo, surrounded by the mountains of Megiddo, Har Megiddo, mountain of Megiddo. And in the middle of the war, the Christ comes to Jerusalem. <laughs> David Moses the fourth goes on vacation to the hamlet of Salem puts his foot on the mount <laughs> during Armageddon in the midst of Armageddon that's why Ezekiel 38 says what it says that's why John the Revelator says what he says they're using that historical event to prophesy of a prediction of the future with a star date, which also is a location on Earth. And it's not Jerusalem this time. Again, remember, they designated Salem cities over America on those two crossroads of the Sun God, Pioneer Wagoneer in the sky. And so, with coronation comes a wedding. He cannot be king alone. He has to have a woman. And unfortunately, all women have determined that even if he's the last man on earth, nope, the human race dies with them. <laughs> and so, there will be no Zion. There will be, therefore, no Christ to be coronated because not a single woman has been designated even as the charity case to be sacrificed to him. You be the wife. No, you be the wife. Let's draw lots and figure it out. You have to. Sorry. <laughs> no! don't like him <laughs> and, and so let's get to the dates that he gives us so verse 11 here we have a location in space saw the heaven opened that's your big clue <laughs> behold a white horse Pegasus, not Rapture Palooza, <laughs> who was assassinated by Anna Kendrick's boyfriend. <laughs> Hilarious. And so. Oh, 
the sun is in on the back of the white horse. Okay, so here his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's the Egyptian concept, is that the sun and the moon are the eyes of Horus. And he had a new name, or he had a name that no man knew but he himself. That's Emmanuel, Amun, the Egyptian sun god. That's the stories they tell about him. Is that he had a hidden name, and those who obtain his name obtain his power. And so there's the story about the apocalypse, the Armageddon, in which Hathor found out Amun's hidden name. And then went on a drunken red wine murder spree of mankind. Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> but it's symbolic of the war and the World War III Armageddon War with the blood that is spilt. And thus the sacrament wine for the blood of Osiris that was shed for us. Yeah, and the coming forth of his son to be the Christ. All of this has to do with it. That's the origin of religion. And so thus Christianity and Islam and even Brigham Young corrupted the original religion and the rituals and the theology and the scriptures and everything. And so now we go to verse 17, and that's why I talked about an angel standing in the sun. The sign of communism, the sign of Islam, who are also the enemy. Not just the Illuminati. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. That's a total solar eclipse on the back of the white horse. And so, where's Jupiter? Jupiter is the Christ, not the sun. This is the sacrifice of the Lamb. He's in Aries. He's already there retrograding. On 8 April 2024, he's leaving. That's it. Going on to the next one to establish the Kingdom of Zion. But Mormons don't care. There will be no Zion. There will be no Christ. Because Mormons don't believe. And are pushing to overthrow the government to have the Church of Jesus Christ of Danites. Danite Latter-day Saints be that kingdom. As Nelson is purposely doing everything he can to try to offend Mormons to leave. To purge the church of the righteous. To reveal himself as the great and abominable church. And so those who remain are must be Danites of the third and fourth generation. It's the only conclusion that would make sense. That's why Mormons who remain Mormon are so hard-hearted and evil and criminal. I didn't tell this, did I? I meant to at the beginning. In the news, local news, yeah, last night, yesterday, a painting was stolen by a mob, an actual mob, a crime organization mob. Not the mob that wore blackface to murder Joseph. That's a... Anyway, this criminal organization, a 
apparently had gotten away with it because nobody had found the painting until yesterday in the local news here in Utah they found it in Utah a Danite was part of the mob <laughs> in the late 1700s and then joined the church to be the Danites and then came with Brigham to the valley and brought the painting hilarious but the news won't tell you that part they say oh we found the painting here in Utah coincidence nobody's to blame here you go <laughs> a famous painting just like what the Nazis did in stealing paintings and other works of art and then Sweden gets involved. Switzerland, actually. We're neutral. No, you're not. No, you're not. So, yeah, they do the same type of criminal actions. They're all the same. They have no originality. <laughs> and so... Yeah, there's the Book of Mormon. He will rule Zion with the Book of Mormon, the Rod of Iron, which is the Tree of Life. I've been doing the videos. So, yeah. Samson also helped me figure this out, too. Because knowing the information as I do because of the education that I went into and deciphering Paleo-Hebrew and thus deciphering Egyptian because the Rosetta Stone Egyptian that's just the learning of the Greeks in the language of the Egyptians it's not the learning of the Egyptians in the language of the Egyptians and so thus there are a whole ton of signs that are not included in any sign list <coughs> especially gardeners because they don't know how to translate them. They claim they got it all figured out. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dorothy Murdoch was on to something and became popular, but she died of cancer on Christmas Day and all Christianity cheered, saying it was Jesus that smote her down for her heresy. so Christ-like but uh, it ended up being me who figured it all out and sharing exclusive video information with those who watch my videos all these years and so in the story of Samson he's the Sun King Emmanuel Sun God and so yes it's the Christ there are prophecy predictions of the future of him in the latter days, and they designate his ministry to the Mormons in Utah. Top of the mountain. In which the deaths are solar eclipses. So the first death is the lion. Samson kills the lion. Leo, the lion. That's where the first solar eclipse occurs. At the star Regis, the king star. The first year of the reign of King Trump. Put on the throne by Russia Babylon. <laughs> the second one his first wife is murdered by burning with her father, the son. Virgo, 14th October, 2023. We just had it. Over Utah.
And then Samson dies. But he takes down the Philistines with his sacrifice. The fall of the great and abominable church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints. An exact pattern match. And so, yes, Brigham Young purposely violated the Book of Mormon, forged documents to violate the Book of Mormon, and turned them into scriptures. Section 115, the name of the church, forged document. Section 116, Adam on Diamon, to overthrow the Constitution and the government. Forged document. Section 117, about Newell K. Whitney being a Danite. <laughs> he lives there at Adam on Diamon. Forged document. But hilarious as they are trying to distance themselves from being the Danites. But they go on in 1838 to claim that Joseph was the leader of the Danites. So how is he condemning Noel K. Whitney? Or, yeah, Noel K. Whitney if, if uh, he's the leader of the Danites. Doesn't make any sense. Unless they were being framed. And thus he got sent to Liberty Jail in 1838's coup with election fraud and civil war and violence and murder and framing and lock them up. Same pattern. And then the final, or yeah, the, the, and so the fall of the church is the sun eclipse on the back of the white horse. And Jupiter is in Aries, the Ram Lamb constellation. Exactly as prophesied. And so I'm kind of surprised there are no t-shirts for this. And so I, I guess the guy who figured it out and thus spawned the t-shirt in China was a, f a fluke. That he just had a stellarium and figured it out. But otherwise, all of this is still unknown to the general populace because the other guy couldn't figure it out. And nobody's watching me because I'm being silenced. But here it is. In my two hour tour video as I intended this to be shorter. <laughs> this can't be done. So, yeah, we see the fall of the false church and even the Trump. And the beast was taken, and with him, Russell Marion Nelson, that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the MAGA baseball cap in their forehead, <laughs> and worshipped Jesus, and idol statue god Trump for CPAC. What the hell's up with that? These both were cast alive in the day that shall burn as an oven, which suggests that it's not just Utah, the Salt Lake Temple Square, that's going to be attacked by the day that shall burn as an oven, but also wherever Trump is. He's constantly having to go to different states for the different trials <laughs> but it's most likely the DC one for the uh, government of America. The government and the church being destroyed 
And as Albert Pike told us, their plot, as he's an Illuminati Scottish Rites member, Grandmaster, to Giuseppe Mazzini in his letter, we are going to destroy Christianity, take away their hope. They will have no compass, because no Jesus, no Zion, no peace, safety, and refuge. Thus, no Islam either, to be at war with Israel, the Zionists. It's not just Israel, Christians are Zionists, Islam are Zionists. They all want their Zion to be built. He says they're just going to just utterly destroy everybody with the day that shall burn as an oven. Leave them without compass or direction. And then uprises Lucifer, the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, whose prophets fled, abandoning the Mormons with their multi-trillions of dollars they've been hoarding and buying up the land of the world, claiming it's for temple worship, with the final solution of, it is well. Jehovah, go down and... Mm -hmm. And... So, 1 Nephi chapter 14 also goes over the destruction of the great and abominable church. But this suggests both the government and the religion. So, with the fall of America falls the nations. As the Joseph Smith translation here for verse 15, talking about the Book of Mormon, as the rod of iron, as the word of God. And out of his mouth, the Jewish Christ, proceedeth the word of God. And with it, he will smite the nations. And he will rule them with the word of his mouth. And he treadeth the winepress, blood red wine, that's the symbol, in the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And so, yeah, he's going to be the only one that will warn you about this. Because the enemy is keeping it a secret from you. So thus, Amos 3, 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing save he warn you through his prophets. Nelson did not warn you in 2020 of creeping death. He called China. He knew. He knew how serious it was. He told us in April conference that he knew of the danger and did nothing to warn us about it. Did nothing to help us prepare. He abandoned us. And so likewise, the same pattern, he will abandon Mormons. And so most likely on that Monday, they'll be packing their bags and heading out. <laughs> After angering the world that they've now established Zion, having seceded from the nation, <laughs> leaving the Mormons left in Utah, and thus the ex-Mormons and former Mormons, and their Christ, in Utah to be destroyed with it as collateral damage. You can't just leave the church, you have to leave the land to be saved and you have to only go to Zion because that's the only place that will be the only safe space <sighs> because Trump's already telling us if he has to be plan B he's going to purposely make sure that he f finishes it off that E. Jean Carroll Car yeah everybody thinks that you know she is the first woman to ever get Trump to be punished by the law? Well, 
she's now targeted for assassination when Trump takes over again. Trump will murder her. Trump will murder Nancy Pelosi. Trump will murder Hillary Clinton. Trump will murder Biden and Harris. Trump will murder all Democrats, even progressives. So, Cenk, Anna, yeah, you guys, bye-bye. Trump's going to murder you. All of you. The liberal press. Murdered. Destroyed. No more. Anybody who will not bow the knee to Trump will be murdered. All people of color, get out of his nation, his kingdom. So all of you on DACA, yeah, bye-bye. Go back to the bleep hole country that you didn't come from because you were born, well, you were trying to get naturalized in America, so you weren't born in America. But those who were born in America, if you're colored, you got to leave. you got to go to another country that you've never lived in, that you are not from. And he won't care. The border, yep, he'll just start assassinating them. Just tell the border guards to open fire. because he was using the border for sex trafficking. Trump was causing that. And he'll destroy the governments and the states that do not support him. America will be divided. America will be at war if he is unleashed. And so it's not likely he will win the election but it doesn't matter because Texas and other states of MAGA have already seceded from the nation. They only want Trump to be their king. And if the election doesn't go in their favor, then they'll say, we do not accept the results of this election. We are seceding from the nation. Trump is our president, just like Jefferson Davis of the Confederates. And we'll be at war. There will be no result for the 2024 election. You will see escalation of voter fraud and voter intimidation. You will see wars break out to prevent people from voting to ensure that Trump becomes the president. You will see frauds and, and fake voting galore. AI, we're already told we're going to have AI fake news <laughs> to get Democrats to vote by phone <laughs> and to tell MAGA they'd rather be Russian than vote Democrat. As you'll get Obama endorsing Trump. <laughs> this is Obama. I endorse Trump for president. I'm surprised nobody has come up with that one yet. That would be hilarious. <laughs> as evil as it is. Dear God. And so, yeah, that's only plan B. But that's why Congress, MAGA, has rejected the border bill. <laughs> because Trump ordered it. But also because they're still waiting on the Supreme Court to decide whether Trump can run for president. And if he can't, then there will be bloodshed. There will be Congress retaliating by tanking the economy, crashing the stock market. They are holding America hostage. They are holding the Supreme Court hostage. If the Supreme Court does not vote the way they want them to vote, which, originally, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, that's why Senator Lee came out and said, I support Trump. Because the church supports Trump. They removed him in 2020 to cause the Civil War. And since they got to do it again, because it didn't happen yet, Plan B, 
They've got Plan B in case it doesn't happen before April conference and uh, or 8 April. So that's Plan B. That's how they do it. They're organized and think of all possible outcomes to plan in case the one outcome happens. And the one factor that has screwed them up, that has pissed them off, is they never expected the Jewish Christ to actually appear. And he's been a thorn in their side. So yes, that's why I exposed the church's plots all these years, was to purposely see if I can get them to stop it and not go through with it. And they have. They've had to go to plan B and then plan C, you know, over and over again. But I've noticed lately, Nelson just doesn't care anymore. He doesn't care if people know now. And so my views have been able to escalate out of control back to where they should have been in the beginning so that they would even be more now but but even though they're still doing silencing of me overall I'm getting more views <sighs> since last year breaking free of the the homeless prison here in Utah because again, they were pissed that I sued them. And so they destroyed me. And they set it all up, paying Gail Miller to purposely turn the shelter into a drug den to murder me. Hmm. That was a loud boom. Alrighty. another day, a Saturday. And so, yeah, my life, dear God, I've been wasting my money on things I already have. <laughs> and then I think that there's a, a movie that didn't get made into a DVD only to find out, oh, there it is, after I had bought the VHS tape. <laughs> oh my god! Because I was thinking that it didn't get put on DVD, and so I was going to get the VHS, and so I finally got that, and then I'd have to buy a, a VHS to DVD converter, recorder, and then use the DVD to turn it into an mp4 for the digital files and I just bought it I just got it and then I'm checking on it and I see that it had a French name it's a French movie so I saw it on didn't see it on Amazon they didn't have it available Amazon's sucking lately it used to be awesome. They'd have all this stuff that you couldn't get anywhere else. And now they're tanking Amazon. Bezos, for some reason, apparently wants to destroy Amazon. Make it unavailable for you guys. And, uh, but uh, found it on another source and bought it there. So, yeah, I'll just be spending my time today on women's fashion again, as always, with the extra time that I have. As this video is, yet again, another warning for you. Mormons don't care.